In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. In the jungle, the mighty jungle, the lion sleeps tonight. A weem away, a weem away, a weem away, a weem away. CampingGearTV.com. I'm Josh. I'm Ben. And with us as always is Garrett Jenkins. Today we're taking a look at some books that are about cooking in the outdoors. Well, right? that, so one is. Oh. One is about right. cooking. This is a whole adventure series. It's from Backpacker Magazine who's putting these out. Very and I think nice. uh, Falcon Guides is the uh, publisher here. Yeah. And so basically it's this series of books dealing with a variety of outdoor topics. The ones we have, I'm just going to read them straight through. We got predicting weather, using a GPS, campsite cooking, trailside navigation, trailside first aid, backpacking basics, outdoor knots, outdoor survival. Outdoor Whoa. knots. Is that like what not to do when you're outdoors? No, it's a different kind of knot. We'll get into that oh. in a second. But so what did I just say? Eight books. We're not going to get into every single detail in every single book. We're more or less highlighting the series, but we'll get into a few specifics here in a second. Well, I mean, we got time. We could just read them. We could just have a nice reading of each book here. All right, here we go. Predicting weather, page one. The summit of Mount Washington in New Hampshire's presidential range is a modest 6,288 feet above sea level. Yet this mountain continually surprises experienced backcountry travelers. This book is not meant to dissuade you from experiencing the wilderness on your own, if that is your desire. Rather, we simply want to remind you to think about the implications of solo travel before you go. Without friends to help, you have very little room for error. And that is the end of the last book, Outdoor Survival. So, hey, come on, get up. So, after going through all these books, you can see there's just, there's... A wide variety of information form. How long have you been out? This has been out for a while. It felt like 10 minutes or something. I don't know. Well, we were, we were reading for a while. We'll highlight some of the specifics we just read here in a second. In some of these books, I think there's actually some really, really good information. And like books like, you know, the predicting weather one, I think there's some like basic information in there that's like nothing too crazy. But one of the, one of the better ones, I actually feel like is the outdoor knots one. Wow. Knots is an area in which I'm trying to expand my knowledge or have been over the past year. Whenever I'm with someone who's a real experienced knot tire, yeah. I have a feeling of maybe a tidbit of jealousy yeah. that I too am not an experienced knot tire. Yeah, I feel that way about people that have really nice dungeons. Yes. Yeah. You know? I mean, it's just one of those things where you have a desire to have knowledge in that area and or a very nice dungeon. Yeah. So... But there's, there's a whole variety of knots that are discussed in here, how to tie them, what types of uh, uses each knot is going to have. Very, very informative. You know, I, I mean, let's see here. I'll just read the knots that they talk about tying in the back. Do, do, do. Bowline, bowline on a bite, buttline hitch, butterfly, cleat hitch, clove hitch, double bowline, double fisherman's knot. I'm not going to read them all, but you get the point. Mm -hmm. So a lot of really good stuff in there. You know, bowline knot, very, very useful knot. Yeah. Doesn't, doesn't self-collapse on itself. You can pull from both ends. That's your favorite knot probably, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Probably. It's a very, very useful knot. We've yeah. used it several times on the show. Yeah. Out of all these books, the one I really didn't go into too much, using a GPS, we've never used a GPS in the outdoors yet, no. and so you'll have to get into that one yourself. Outdoor Survival, very, very informative book, actually. Yeah. One of the things it talks about is making a, making sure you readily have a gear list available, which seems like common sense, but I think all too many times people just pile everything in the car and leave and then realize yeah. they forgot one essential item. Yeah. I'm a big list maker in in life in general, yeah. and so I want to make sure I have everything that's needed to go. Yeah, and don't just make your own list. Go out there and research, do a little Google searchage, and you'll find some other lists that other people have made that might give you some ideas of good things to bring along with you. Sure. Unless you're like, you know, Mike Horn, and you don't need help from nobody. Right. You know, I mean, some other things that people don't think about to do, honestly, all the time is, you know, in, in this case, they're showing if you're going to be backpacking somewhere for a couple days, where you have your car parked, leave a note on there. Yeah. That doesn't give necessarily any self-identifying information, but this one says, like, I am hiking 
to Big Elk Lake and back via Highline Trail, okay. and not back by this date, call this number. Oh. Which is actually very good, and if yeah. you think about it, uh, oh man, what's his name? Uh, the dude who cut, uh, Aaron? Uh, Ronson? No, Ronson? the dude who cut his uh, arm off. Yeah, I thought it was Ronson or... Rolstead? Rolston. Ross, Rolston. I forget. You know who I'm talking yeah. about. I'll have to fix that, correct that later. Anyways, he would have, uh, you know, he would have benefited by such a thing. I was making faces at the camera. Oh, kid. really? Sorry. Okay, got you. <laughs> So, a couple other things, let's see here. One of the interesting things in here, they talk about if, if things in the wilderness that can kill you that you may not be aware of or prepared to do. I don't know if you remember this, but you know, when Pete Mueller was doing the Havasu yes. hikes, yeah. he encountered one of, one of the people he had, take, he had took down there. You know, this is an 11-mile hike down in the Grand Canyon, mm. and uh, one of the guys got stung by a scorpion. Oh. Not necessarily life-threatening, perhaps. What a dumbass. But, yeah. yeah, I mean, it, it was definitely a problem they had to deal with. But so, Pete's like Mike Horn. That's true, he is. So he probably he was sucked prepared. the scorpion juice out of the toe. I would th think so. Yeah. Not to mention... The big toe. He was like... Right. Exactly. And then, yeah. Right. And probably killed somebody spitting in the process. His, his lips probably were like this. They show. I'm gonna get some pictures of some of this stuff. But look at this. They show like how to build some serious shelters out of some pretty raw materials in the wilderness. Jesus, it, looked, it would take days. To do that. <laughs> it's like a house in there, <laughs> yeah. right? So kind of cool, think, cool stuff think, like that. I, that could be built in a day, <laughs> right? But Jesus. <laughs> Campsite cooking, really, really great book. They got some. Um, Recipes in here for some stuff you would never ever think to cook and a, a real interesting chapter in here is on gourmet cooking Tools you would need mm. and maybe supplies you can do to cook some more eventful food while keeping your weight down You know another good thing in this book Which is actually I found informative was like a guideline for food amounts like how many pounds of food you need to sustain your energy per day mm -hmm. based on how much activity you're doing 20 20 pounds probably. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, you know, again, just a lot of cooking techniques. If you're experienced in that. Did okay. you know that if you eat your toenails, that that's good for you? Are you serious? That sounds like something that could I made it up. Okay. But, I mean, why wouldn't it be? Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, if you have to have food. Toenails. Yeah. So another good one, trail side navigation. A lot of it is dealing with maps and compass and orientation, dealing with top topography, things like that. Uh, you know, any sort of uh, map keys, map leg legends, you know, which may be useful to you if you're going out on your own for the first time, maybe yeah. by yourself or just with a friend, and you're in the middle of nowhere, yeah. something you might, might need. Stuff that's in the first aid book, I can tell people are just like on the edge of their seats. Yeah, uh, what, one, what's in there? One thing I found interesting is they talk about making slings for broken bones. Again, this topic kind of relates to my scorpion story. Right. You just never know what you're going to encounter. And the thing is, is that usually you think, well, I'm not going to encounter it, so I don't need to be prepared. Oh, but, on a second here. you know, they talk about dealing with fractures and sprains, wound management, stings and bites, heat and cold illnesses. So anything that you might encounter in the outdoors that could be a problem health-wise that you may need to deal with, they discuss in that book. Is this this picture must be in China? They must have taken this in China. Because the first time the front is Asian. Yeah, it's possible. Probably, it's possible. Yeah. You know, what yeah. do you, with this, some American Indian reservation, perhaps? Yeah. I mean, you know, had to be. Had to be. So, well, I hope we don't get in trouble for that one. But what can you do? Well, I mean, what? Where else would it be? Right. Good point. Yeah. I mean, you know. Anyways, in the in the backpacking basics one, I, this one uh, there's a lot of pretty basic material in here, but it again it's an insight into the types of equipment you might need while going backpacking. Um, you know, again this is kind of like your big gear list. Oh, and so some people may be a lot you know pretty familiar with this. If you're a beginner, this might be a good book to check out. Which so, one's your favorite? The knots is, is my okay. favorite. I, because for me, it's the one that it, it's the one that I probably need to study the most. Mm -hmm. And so for me, it's the most informative. There's the most amount of stuff to learn in there. And all the uh, all the pictures and guides on how to tie the knots are all all pretty useful. Yeah. And pretty clear. Mm -hmm. And you can pretty much figure out how to tie a knot off of there. Very cool. Yeah. And, and so you know, it again shows the uses. I find myself, there are some times where I'm like in a situation where I'm possibly tying up something into a tree and just 
being lazy or using janky knots when I, I really wish I had some more professional knots to use. I think I'm gonna use some of these knots in my dungeon. Yeah. I, I mean, this isn't just for camping. This is, you can, oh, yeah, you, you can, can apply use, this to dungeons just Right. As, you can use knots in any sort of situation you find fit where you're tying things up with a rope. Right. And, yeah. as you're saying. Right. So, these books you can find, uh, let's see here, $10 online at backpacker.com. You can find them used a few places online cheaper, you know, possibly on Amazon. I was seeing some used copies for $7. So, definitely want to go and check them out again. The Backpacker Outdoor Essentials. Yeah, yeah, from uh, Falcon Guides. Yeah, Falcon Guides is the publisher. So, and the other thing that's neat about it is that you know it's very useful information in the outdoors, and they're very very small. So, like the Knots book, mm -hmm. I don't have to like do my homework and then leave without the book. I can take that book with me in the outdoors, and so yeah. I can practice it in a live situation. Well, and the, it's it's waterproof. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's good too. Right. Okay, I think that's our episode for today. I hope you have enjoyed learning. Get what some we've books. Been teaching. Get yeah. your learn on. Yeah, get your learn on. Come back, check out the latest and greatest in outdoor gear. Until then, he is Josh, he is Gary, and I'm Ben from your campinggeartv.com.